Compartmentalizing molecules across membranes is one of the most elementary abilities of living things. Our cells have the ability to concentrate molecules on one side of the membrane relative to the other. Also, our cells separate molecules with different electrical charges across membranes. Our cells have an organelle named mitochondria that use the same principle of compartmentalization to produce and store power. Think of mitochondria as a power plant that uses fossil fuels to heat water. The steam water then turns a turbine, which turns a generator. In the mitochondria, the fuel is what we eat, and the steam is protons. Protons then turn a generator named ATP synthase that generates a molecule that living things use to store energy, the ATP. Now, what would happen if you block the steam from turning the turbine in the first place? Or if you add more energy in a way that the turbine spins backward? That would build pressure and probably the factory would be in danger. My study focused on the molecular consequences of this increased pressure in the mitochondria. Only, we call this pressure mitochondrial membrane potential, or MMP for short. We are interested in how cells cope with this increased MMP. Can they sense it? Does it communicate something? Are they able to regulate or relieve the pressure, so to speak? The answer to all these questions seems to be yes. In fact, the MMP seems to work as a hub to communicate how our mitochondria are doing inside the cells. If there's too much pressure, the cells sense that the powerhouse is overworking, so it needs to cool it down. And if this happens for a long time, it might need a different wall material. If we artificially relieve the pressure, poking a small hole in the wall, the cells allow everything to return to normal. This is especially interesting because many diseases have dysregulated mitochondrial membrane potential, like pulmonary hypertension and glioblastoma, while some other diseases fail to build a natural physiological increase, MMP, like type 2 diabetes. Shedding light on this process may give us new insights into the disease progression to create therapeutic opportunities.